Gentlemen and female gentlemen, the Nux versus Twitch arc is in full gear. You see, I, Nux, do not like Twitch, but that's okay because Twitch doesn't like me either. You know why? Not because I get into drama, I get canceled every once in a while. No, no, no. They hate me because, you see, I am, in fact, Jewish. Yeah, Twitch hates Jews, in my opinion. Uh, here's, here's the scoop, gamers. Uh, you see, uh, Twitch right now, there's, there's a Houthi t live streaming on Twitch. Now, this is not an alleged this is a t as defined by the U.S. Department of State, uh, known for epic slogans like uh, death to America, death to Israel, a curse upon the Jews. Yeah, this guy is currently live on Twitch, but that's okay. That's okay because uh, the good news is Twitch recently geo-blocked all of Israel. That's right. All of Israel is geo-blocked on Twitch. Oh, they, they undid it after people called them up. And then they lied about only banning emails and, and they got community noted on Twitter. Fantastic news, guys. This is this is really epic, Twitch. Very cool. Uh, definitely check out my new favorite website, uh, Dan Clancy, who's the CEO of Twitch. DanClancySucks.com. A, a whole lot of random anti-Semitic on there. But anywho, uh, the point is, I want to look into this Hassan situation. Tom Dark just made a video yesterday, I think. Hassan has hit a new low. Uh, talking about some crazy shit that Hassan has recently done on Twitch. I have not really been super deep in this rabbit hole. I've only become made aware of it recently. But uh, being that Twitch hates me, I think it's only fair for me to properly grow a hatred of Twitch. Uh, who knows, maybe Hassan will unfollow me on Twitter uh, after, I, after I do this video. So uh, let's do the deep dive, baby. So recently, everyone's favorite creature from the Black Lagoon and resident yeah, bug charmer, yes. Asmongold, has gotten himself into some very hot, hot, hot uh, yeah, water. Yeah, we just covered the Asmongold stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some comments he made about uh, Palestinians, and uh, it's uh, it's kind of crazy. If you want to consider a genocide as a systematic killing of a group of people, they have genocide built into Sharia law right now. So no, I'm not going to cry a f***ing river when people who have genocide that's baked into their laws are getting genocided. I don't give a f They're terrible people. It's not even a question. It's crazy that people don't see it that way. They'd be doing the same thing. How much did they kill? As many as they can. Yeah. They're not able to kill as many people as Israel because they don't have as many bombs and as many weapons. But if they did, they'd be doing the same thing. That's it. Just takes enough. That's right. These people are not your allies. They are not the same as us. They come from an inferior culture ah. that is horrible. Ah. It kills people for their identity and it is directly antithetical to everything Western values stand for. And it is an inferior culture in all ways. Damn. It is that simple. No, I don't feel bad for them. I don't feel sorry for them. I don't care. Oh my god, someone just said Asmin Land Asmin Lander. No, don't. Okay, all right. I already I just covered the whole Asmin Gold thing. I'm not breaking apart uh, all these things right now. All right. This this is the Hassan the Hassan fucking uh, episode, all right? I don't support them. People were not happy about this, to say the least. Like, yeah, basically, true. Asmongold alerted the horde from Left 4 Dead. Everyone knows that the Israel-Palestine conflict is, like, one of the most contentious things you can possibly talk about online, true. right? It's a literal war that's happening. True. So the fact that he had such an extreme take on a topic that thousands of people will rip your throat out for... Yeah, the, the worst part of that take is not even that it was even, you know, on the Israel-Palestine conflict. That's not it. Even the pro-Israel people do not have a take that unhinged, right? The pro-Israel people are like, kill the terrorists, and unfortunately, there's collateral damage. Like, that that's the thats the pro-Israel take. His take was just like, inferior culture! <laughs> right, like, that that's a whole other fucking level here, all right? That, that's, the, oh my god. ...was like, pretty surprising to me. I don't know, maybe I don't watch enough Asmongold, but I didn't really expect it. I mean, everybody's yeah. getting backlash for their takes on this shit. KSI got backlash a few days ago because he had the most lukewarm possible take about- Oh shit! New KSI drama, let's go! KSI and I are best friends, so this is gonna be huge. ...entire conflict. What do you think about the Palestine-Israel situation at the moment? <sighs> I... I... Honestly, have no idea what's going on. <laughs> he just wants to avoid that shit. Honestly, respectable, though. I'm not, not even gonna lie. A as a- uh, uh, Look, ASI fucking put on the clown makeup, but uh, I'm just saying. This- th That's honestly based. No one has to fucking voice opinions on this shit, especially if they have no idea what's going on. I have no idea who this is, but if anyone supports him, then stop. This is <laughs> not a serious man. Giggling like a girl and sitting on the fence over a modern day holocaust is spineless and shameful, presumably to avoid any personal financial loss. Sickening to watch men behave this way. This clip makes- Classic men, am I right guys? Uh, subscribe if you're men. Makes it even more confusing as to why Asmongold would have such an extreme take, especially when Twitch is a very, very left-leaning platform. If- Yeah, 
If by left-leaning you mean anti-Semitic as fuck, then I completely agree! People were literally frothing at the mouth because KSI essentially said no comments. How were they gonna react to Asmund? Here's the deal. I want this guy killed. Clean Damn. shot. When the mold in Asmongold's room finally oh kills God. him. Wait, is this an anti-Hassan video or is this an Asmongold video? Inferior culture, says the guy who doesn't even wipe his ass. The way his <laughs> That's a good point. That's funny though. Cell fans gasped whenever I was honest about how despicable of a person he is. I want nothing more than for this man and everyone like him to be in danger. Yeah, dude. I, I get tons of death threats, too. It's like, it's pretty sad, honestly. See, he gets death threats for making a fucking unhinged take. I get death threats for reacting to Jaden animations. We are not the same. Oh, my God. Now, Asmongold also owns a company called Starforge PCs, and apparently one of the partners decided to just walk away from it because they found his comments to be very offensive. And it didn't take long before people started calling for his outright ban on Twitch. Casey Tron even dug through their terms of service to specifically read out every specific rule. Based tech tone! Oh, my God! Tone! Look at this man! Oh, yes! I oh, yeah. am! Oh. ...that he had broken. No. Here are some of the TOS guidelines that Asmongold directly violated recently. Oh, let's go. Let's see how many of these Hassan also violates. Suggest that a victim of a hate crime deserved to be harmed. He called Jews vicious pig dogs. That That's what Hassan did. All right? So, yeah, all right. He... He... Wait! Hassan defends Hamas terrorists! Like, all the time! Refuses to condemn actual terrorists murdering innocent people! And he wasn't banned?! Oh my god. I'm sorry, this is just gonna make me go fucking crazy. Uh, anyway. Incite or promote violence against a protected group. Content that- Dude, didn't Frogan just make a tweet, like, yesterday about how she hopes all veterans get PTSD? Dude, you honestly can't make this shit up. This- I fucking hate Twitch. I hate Twitch so much! Who fucking who? I hope you get PTSD. Right, talking about everyone in the U.S. Army. Military? U.S. military? Who fucking who? I hope you get PTSD. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to even watch the whole clip. I don't, I don't want to give this fucking uh, slob, this snot ball of a human, any more uh, screen time over here. But like, dude, but she, nope, she didn't get banned. Don't worry, she's not banned. Perpetuates a recognized negative stereotype about a protected group as greedy or unintelligent. Con okay, that, that's just another one that happened. But forget the whole Hassan situation. Dude, have you seen Hassan's chat? This is Hassan's chat. Dude, replace the word Zionist in his chat with any other word in the fucking dictionary and these guys would all be banned. But literally none of these peoples get banned on Twitch. None of them. Dude, the alien analogy is appropriate because Zionists are also not human beings. <laughs> but don't worry, they, they don't get banned. They're fine. They're cool. Don't worry. Don't worry, they're not banned. That's cool. Content suggesting that protected group members are subhuman, inhuman, or impure. Con oh, I just showed you that. Insinuating that individuals with certain protected characteristics are criminals or terrorists. Insinuating that people are terrorists could get you banned on Twitch, but actual literal terrorists like this guy, this guy is a terrorist, by the way, who's currently not banned on Twitch, doesn't get banned on Twitch. You insinuate someone's a terrorist, banned on Twitch. You are a literal terrorist, nah. Nah, it's okay. Don't worry, Twitch. Well, Twitch is fine. Don't don't worry, guys. Oh, oh don't pay attention to that. That's just uh, the latest stream by the terrorist that just happened 10 minutes ago. Content that implies that another contemporary culture is primitive. Whoa. Gorilla mode? Is at Twitch ever going Whatever, to- Whatever, I'm not actually gonna fucking- uh, I can't deal with this shit, man. Take action? Now keep this tweet in mind. It's gonna be really important. People started pointing out the fact that Asmongold was seemingly being really hypocritical about this entire thing after a tweet of his resurfaced from a year ago where he was essentially just saying, like, it's really weird. Oh my god, he made this tweet. Weird as fuck to see so many people coming out with statements about the Israel-Palestine conflict as if they need to comment on it. Could we please stop this weird culture and unexpected people with no relevant background education to talk about the world's immense politics? Based Asmongold from a year ago. Oh my god, that looks so bad. Oh man. To see so many people coming out with statements on Israel and Palestine and that whole conflict as if they need to comment on it. Can we please stop this weird culture around expecting people with no relevant background or education to talk about world events and politics? And it's like, yeah, I mean, I guess that didn't that didn't last very long, did yeah. it? Unfortunately for him. And the day after Asrin made his kind of crazy statement, we got a statement from him here saying, looking back on it, I was way too much of an asshole about the Palestine thing. My bad, of course. No one deserves to have their life destroyed. You guys deserve more than me saying stupid shit like that. I'll do better. A few hours later, he would officially be banned from Twitch for 14 days, and a day later, he would make an apology video that did actually seem pretty genuine, saying he was going to take a step back from his leadership position at OTK. And yeah, I, I reacted to that whole thing just now. So, for my opinions on all that shit, go to that video. Starforge and try to take some time off to become a better person. And I just feel like such a stupid, belligerent fucking asshole. Damn. I really do, and I'm sorry. Yeah, it really does seem like a genuine apology, though. Like, it really does. I, I really am. I, I think that it's extremely fair to criticize uh, religious extremism. 
And I think that it's extremely unfair to categorize everybody in part of that group as religious extremists. Yeah, it was the generalization that definitely fucked this man over. I think it is, and I'm, I'm really sorry for that. And the people rejoiced, okay? Thank God this huge streamer that, you know, violated multiple of Twitch's terms of service, lines, or whatever the fuck, got the justice he deserved, okay? Thank God. Surely. All right, all right, all right. I'm ready! Gloves off! Let's go! Every top streamer is held to the same standard, right? Well, it turns out people started noticing that a, uh, a uh, streamer that uh, I love, a streamer uh, that I'm a huge uh, fan of, uh, that I'm addicted to watching, named Hassan Piker. Oh. No. Seemed to be able to get away with much, much worse than Asmongold and not get banned at all. In fact, oh no, we're really going down. He has, wait, is the rest of this video like the next 30 fucking minutes just like endless Hassan violations? Oh, let's fucking go. I I'm ready. I'm locked in. I'm here. Listen, I, I don't want to start no beef with anybody, but I do like chaos. So I am going to appreciate this immensely. Uh, I especially like the fact that Hassan is follows me on Twitter, which will probably not last long. But um, thank you for being here on the ride while it lasted, Hassan. Again, I don't know. Maybe, maybe my opinion won't change. Maybe, maybe I am just gonna like look at these clips and be like, Hassan was right. Who knows? Who knows? Epic foreshadowing. In fact, it's kind of the opposite. Instead of being banned, he gets showered with love and support from Twitch themselves. Happy birthday to oh yeah, I saw this clip. Wow, guys, it's it's the actual CEO of Twitch. Shower it made a special birthday stream to, to, to congratulate Hassan on reaching his birthday. What the fuck? Happy birthday to you. Bro, we're never beating the Hassan runs Twitch allegations after this. Oh my god. Yeah, it's it's rough. Getting banned not getting banned after supporting terrorist propaganda. Yeah, that was that that's one thing, but but getting happy birthday from the fucking CEO of Twitch, Dan anti-Semite Clancy himself, in my opinion, allegedly. Damn. Damn. Wow, I'm really going fucking crazy here. This is crazy. The most rabid Redditors just clipped this, and they're going to use this permanently to be like, see, I told you, he's got banning powers. <laughs> like, am I supposed to know who this person is? I mean, this is funny. This is a funny meme. Is he like a Reddit person? <laughs> Oh my god, is, is that Turkey Tom? Person. Last time we checked up on our Turkish king, he had a falling out with Ethan Klein over right. the Israel-Palestine thing, as well as having a fan run up and tell him he needed to stop drinking Coke Zero on stream because it's anti-Palestine. Yeah, that's a funny clip. Which was like one of the greatest clips of all time. That's <laughs> like, a great clip. It was awesome. Great and then clip. she told him to drink it off stream, which to me kind of highlights how performative a lot of the virtue signaling around this kind of stuff has been. I'm sorry, I forgot really you need to stop drinking Coke Zero on stream. Wait, is it? You're uh, preaching pro Palestine and you're drinking all this really stuff. Please, Thank you. At least pretend. Do it off Pretend! We know that we know you don't actually care about the social issues, but make believe you do! Grandstand, Hassan! Grandstand! Okay, I'll, put in, I'll put in a glass. Is Pepsi okay? No! No! Pepsi! No okay. soda! No, I didn't know it was like that. Since that video, Hassan is gone. That's a funny fucking clip. I'm not gonna lie. That's, 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 what, that's a great fucking That's very funny. It's like you see the actual uh, creatures that you breed. Like that that person came out of your chat, Hassan. Really off the rails, really doubling down on the extremist takes. And he And then she was hired to be on Twitch's policy staff the next day. Even shouted me out. I don't know what this is. What is this thing? <laughs> who is this person? Like, am I supposed to know who this person <laughs> oh is? I mean, God. this is funny. This is a funny meme. Is he like a Reddit person? Look, I just want to say, okay, I am not a Reddit person. Damn, all right? the Reddit person allegations going crazy. I will be taking us on to court over this. Do not call me Reddit, okay? I'm based. I'm based, guys. But there's been a lot of crazy shit that's happened on Hassan's stream that uh, I think is definitely worth noting. Like when he recently interviewed a pirate terror. Thank you. This is so huge. I'm going to react to that whole fucking interview after this, I decided. All right, let's see. I'd like to introduce you to Yemen. Timothy Chalamet. It's it's not the Dune guy. Dune is not real life. The desert Damn. is not Yemen in That's the crazy. movie. Uh, I was shocked to find that out. But no, he's a different guy. He's in real life, and he is a known terrorist. And he's a terrorist. Okay, can we can we stop? Uh, he's a he's a child. He's a kid. No, he's a he's a terrorist. He's an actual terrorist. The U.S. government classifies him as a terrorist. Hassan interviewed him, and it went really swimmingly. Yeah, we're gonna react to that. Hassan even compared him to Luffy from. Okay, I think the worst thing that came out of all this is the fact that everyone pronounces Luffy as Luffy. That is a war crime. One Piece, which is just like, he, he captures boats. Okay, this is a stupid question. Okay, you can preface it with that. Does he wa Does he know what One Piece is? This is a fucking interview with a terrorist. A terrorist. 
that the whole on ash had one this lofi lofi yeah he said he's he's been watching it since he was a kid the whole way yeah that's sick yes this is a terrorist by the way let me just reiterate yes that's fire that's so fire yeah, oh my god we think the houthis on Allah is doing uh, what lofi would do okay that clip i didn't see did, did he just support what the houthis are doing did he just like chest out support the houthis oh my god we think the houthis on Allah is doing uh what luffy would do you no fucking way i can't believe he said that like even I, I i can't believe it i'm shocked i'm shocked like that forget twitch like that's fucking like anti-america in every possible way i these are the houthis by the way this is the slogan of the houthi movement okay this this is the slogan to the houthi movement like these are terrorists like, uh, according to the U.S., they're terrorists. <laughs> the Department of the State announces that the designation of this, the Houthis is a terrorist group. Like, this is not a, not open to discussion. Luffy would not take innocent, random people on a boat as hostages to never return them to their families ever. Okay, I've seen what bees. And, uh, he would not do what the Houthis do. I can't believe this. Like, that that's the most fucked up thing I've ever heard in my life. Rich LA American streamer literally supports Houthis? Oh my God. We think the Houthis on Allah is doing uh, what Luffy would do. You should tell him that. He says, if you go visit there, you'll feel like you're in one piece and you can visit all the boats. <laughs> that's good. For the unaware, yeah, you should go visit them, honestly. I think that's a missed opportunity, bro. Yemeni Timothy Chalamet here is a part of a known terrorist group called the Houthis. They're basically pirates that capture ships and plunder them for gold and take captives for ransom money. Actually, dude, they actually kidnap people. Like, innocent civilian people that have nothing to do with anything that they just come across. Timothy himself here has recorded several videos of him taking over ships with, like, Pirates of the Caribbean music in the background, and it's racked up millions of views on TikTok. And just so you... This is a terrorist, by the way. You guys know, the official slogan of the Houthis is death to America, death to Israel, and curse upon the Jews. Can we, get, can we just get a shout out for the fact that neither Hassan nor the actual terrorist are banned on Twitch right now? I'm just saying, if Twitch isn't anti-Semitic, then they're doing a pretty good job making believe they are. Like, I <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I don't, I don't know. We're in a different place, okay? Twitch is crazy. And don't get me wrong, I don't think that, like, platforming this guy is the main problem. I don't really care that Hassan- No, no, no! It's the glazing! I don't care if you platform him and grill him, bro, you glazed him! I wanted to interview him. That's honestly fine. Journalists yeah, sure. interview terrorists and other terrible yeah. people all the time because awesome. there's, like, obviously value in talking yes. to people that, you know, you disagree with or do horrible things to try to understand them. The difference is that this wasn't really an interview it was like a glorified promotion reel hassan was endorsing this known terrorist group endorsing and glazing and saying that i respect what you do and you should keep it up that's what luffy would do and not only did twitch not ban hassan not only did twitch not ban the terrorist but you know what twitch did ban i know you're probably thinking asmongold twitch banned all of israel yeah that's right this is the modern fucking day ah, ah. We wanted to address concerns. Oopsie, we deeply regret the unacceptable miss. Oh, we accidentally banned all of Israel. This is a real thing that happened, by the way. Okay? Oh my fucking god, dude. Actual clown world. Oh my god. Group and brainwash. No, they didn't ban Russia. No, no, no. Don't worry. Don't worry. They, they only banned Israel. It's not. It has nothing to do with the war. They just hate Jews, in my opinion. Watching his audience to think that the guy who helped board and capture 25 members of a ship was 25 innocent random people. As far as I know. The epic based chungus pilled fucking anime guy. Yeah. He's saying they've all tried. He has so much riz when he kidnaps people. I caught including the captain of the of the ship that he went on. He's saying that the vibes are immaculate. The vibes are immaculate hanging out with hostages. No way. <laughs> he's saying, he's saying he, he wants us to visit. Oh, dude, I would love to. You One. should. You should. I, I support that wholeheartedly. I am afraid of America uh, bombs, though. He uh, also... Ended ev evil America. <laughs> evil America being anti-terrorist. Oh, anti-terrorist in 2024? Cringe. Ended up comparing this dude. I can't believe this is real. Like, I knew that there was some of this fucking uh, shit going on, but I didn't know it was this bad. Dude, to Anne Frank. <laughs> I can't... I, yeah, I saw that, too. I can't believe like I'm alive right now. Why am I alive? Why is this happening? I talked to a, a teenager from Yemen. Okay. An adult, a 19 year old. Okay. Who uh, everyone called, myself included, called Tim Houthi Charlemagne or uh, Chalamet. Is that uh, the uh, the One Piece one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Now, this kid, this kid, adult, is like, I think he was like 19 at the time mm -hmm. when I talked to him, which means that for most of his life, he has withstood genocide. 
Not by Israel, by the way. Genocide by Saudi Arabia, I think, by the Saudis. Right? Sure. But he's, he is a person whose only experience is like, it's literally like talking to fucking <laughs> Anne Frank, base. This is the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. This comparison to Anne Frank is fucking insane. I think that it's important to recognize this, uh, just, just to make clear, okay? Because I think a lot of people know, don't know who Anne Frank was and why this comparison is so bad. Allow me to make this clear. So uh, this guy that he interviewed is a terrorist. Anne Frank was a 12-year-old girl that was in the Holocaust that wrote a diary of the oppression that she suffered between 1942 and 1944 when she was stuck in an attic in Germany uh, as a victim of the Nazis who murdered all of her friends. Uh, she was actually murdered in 1944 by the Nazis. So was her mother and so were her siblings. Her father was the only survivor of their entire family who then later published her diary where she marked the oppression that she suffered. That is the diary of Anne Frank. That is the person that he compared to a terrorist, okay? That was his comparison. I, I am not exaggerating an iota of what I'm saying. Yeah, I'll even I'll even pull up the Wikipedia page, Anne Frank. All right, this, this girl here, this is Anne Frank, okay? This is Anne Frank. A German-born Jewish girl who kept a diary documenting her life hiding from the Nazi persecution during the German occupation of the ne Netherlands. She just described her everyday life in her diary. Okay, and it, about her life, how in 1940 they were trapped in Amsterdam, 1941 they became stateless because, you know, the fucking HOLOCAUST was happening! In 1942 they went into concealed rooms, and they hid in that room for two years, until 1944, where Anne Frank and her sister Margot were transferred to, from Auschwitz to Bergen-Belsen, these are two concentration camps, where they were killed, where they died, or presumably of typhus, because they weren't given cures, that's, that's nice, they died in concentration camp. Otto, the dad, the only Holocaust survivor, returned to Amsterdam after the war and published the diary. Okay, this is this is Anne Frank. This is who he's comparing to a terrorist. A Jew, by the way. Wow! What a coincidence! Okay, being able to talk to Anne Frank uh, in in real time. To continue with this fun trend we're on here, uh, Hassan has openly defended Hamas and October. I don't even know how he made that comparison. Like I'm trying. I'm, I don't even understand like the comparison he made. Like how do you even come to that? Like it's like they're complete and utter opposites. Oh, I was interviewing Adolf Hitler. That's like interviewing Harry Truman. <laughs> like, that's the level of fucking dissidence you have to have. We're seventh several times at this point. For those of you that need a little bit of a brief catch up, essentially on October 7th, Hamas launched a large scale attack on Israel. This attack, which targeted civilian areas, resulted in the death of over 1,200 Israelis, the taking of hostages, and widespread violence in the border communities. Israel is like this little city in the Middle East, and like, they don't like the people around them, and the people around them don't like them. And uh, there's. Damn, that was the fucking drama YouTuber explanation of what's happening. Like, obviously, you know, religious stuff going on there as well, because there's like Jews and there's Muslims. And they're, you know, there's, it's a, it's a long standing beef. It's like the longest standing beef. And you, this was like Logan Paul versus KSI, just crazier. YouTube history, okay? Israel drama is crazy. Yeah. A Palestine drama is crazy. What True. is this thing? Who is this person? He's one of your biggest haters. Reports from survivors, Israeli authorities, and international organizations revealed that during the attack, Hamas militants carried out brutal acts, including the rape and sexual assault of various Israeli women. Eyewitness accounts and forensic evidence pointed to women being raped before being killed or abducted. And these crimes occurred alongside the killing of men, women, children, the elderly in Israeli homes, people at a music festival, other civilian settings. The full extent of the atrocities was still emerging in the aftermath, with Israeli and international investigators continuing to collect evidence and testimony and try to figure out what's going on here. Now, obviously, the Israeli-Palestine conflict is very complicated, and I'm not trying to say, like, Israel good or Palestine good or Palestine bad or Israel bad. Like, that's not my take here. I just think that, like, you know, civilians dying is, like, sad and unfortunate, and I don't like that, you know? Civilians aren't the government. They're not militants. They're not soldiers. They're just living somewhere where they were born and grew up. So, obviously, you know, I'm gonna feel bad for them if they die or get But Hassan sees this very differently. There are a lot of clips of Hassan denying downplaying laughing at and saying he doesn't care even if it did happen yeah i saw those clips it's like how, how inhuman are you to do that shit like I, I don't understand like dude this guy like actually supports hamas from what i'm understanding right these are the what the fuck what the hezbollah do bro what did hamas do what do you, how do you fucking deny this shit dude they found corpses of israelis of israeli women that were naked from the waist down with blood between their legs okay How the f yeah they they aren't personally testifying because you know they're they're fucking dead because the terrorists are evil like I, I don't understand what are you talking about like there is one instance in captivity that we have actually gotten verifiable evidence on beyond that 
the the systematized masks that Hamas dealt on October 7, not a single bit of that has been verified. And people still run with it over and over and over again. What the Meanwhile, fuck? we know Israel has- The UN classified it. Like, the UN says that there were mass rapes. It's like on the UN's page of the crimes that were committed. Has done it. Many young people who were simply attending a music festival. Women were horribly- As I said then, I say dude, today, dude, Israel- That fucking cringe face is so painful. Oh my god, it's so painful had a right has a right to defend itself we would it doesn't even matter none of this justifies that palestinians have a right to to dignity a right to emancipation a right to live fucking free lives free from this occupation doesn't matter doesn't matter if fucking what's happened on october 7 like that fuck dude i don't understand doesn't change the dynamic for me even this much and while we're on the uh, the tried and true, amazing, beautiful topic of going gorilla mode, Hassan has talked about the various benefits of doing such a thing to rich white women. At least Patrick. Had yeah, I saw this clip too. Bro, dude. Oh my God. This is this is just. It keeps getting worse. Henry College is like doing one good thing, which is that like if you have these fucking millionaire billionaire wasp fail sons at least taking them out of other colleges so they can only do date to other billionaire millionaire fail daughters oh, wow. is like in some respects you know from a utilitarian perspective of course a little bit better you know? we should let rich people rape other rich people that would be cool right guys you know what i mean like taking these guys and and and, and putting them in in a pen with one another is ultimately getting them away from the broader society. This is coming from the rich guy. Uh, but, dude, I don't understand. Wait, how is he not banned on Twitch? How does Twitch glaze him so much? They made a special happy birthday, Hassan. Like, I don't understand. Hassan himself, keep in mind, is rich. He lives in a multi-million dollar, like, bachelor pad in Hollywood. And no punishments or bans were ever handed out by Twitch for this behavior, despite multiple reports. Even more recently, Hassan was streaming and hanging out with a fellow... Dude, I don't understand how people associate with him for a second. Wait a second. Forget Twitch for a second. How are all, like, the, the Ludwigs and the OTKs of the world? How are they all his friends? Like, I would never want to, like, collab with him and play a video game with him ever again. He was on our podcast, and, and we talked about, like, some of his other shit. But after seeing all this, like, I don't I don't know if I ever want to be friends with this guy. In fact, I know I don't. I would, I would have a dialogue with him and discuss shit, but I don't understand why people are so cool with, like, just being chums with this guy. Again, this isn't a cancel by association thing. I guess a lot of people aren't as terminally online as I am. But this is fucking crazy. Just chatting streamer named NMP LOL, all right? He's like, he's sort of the new Mizkif. Is that insulting to call someone the new Mizkif? Is that like, is that like a dig? I don't mean that in a negative way. I mean, he's like, he's he's popular, okay? He's he's popular. He took Mizkif's swag, okay? Well, anyway, he went on Hassan's stream and uh, Hassan couldn't help himself when it came to talking about this conflict. Uh, he he had to also endorse another militant terrorist group that has killed civilians. What? You say? Hassan Nasrallah. Who's that? Hassan Nasrallah? You mean the fucking terrorist? He's the leader of Hezbollah, the general secretary of Hezbollah. What's Hezbollah? Hezbollah. The Hezbollah are terrorists. And Has Hassan Nasrallah was also a terrorist. He's dead now. He's a terrorist. Didn't, didn't... Okay, so forget... Aside from the thousands of missiles that he shot into Israel's civilian po populations, didn't Hassan Nasrallah also cause the deaths of, like, half a million people in Syria? Like, he was... Uh, wasn't he kind of a monster? Like, according to everyone? A small guy? Hezbollah is the, this is the same name. Okay. Uh, Hezbollah is a is a paramilitary organization that is also a, a part of the Lebanese parliament. Do we like them or no? What, what, what kind of brain dead are do we like them or no? I think as a resistance group, they're pretty successful against Israel. Didn't he cause like a, he caused like half a million deaths in Syria, like of civilians? Half a million. Bro did not discriminate. He killed Jews and Arabs. Paramilitary resistance group. Wow, okay. Okay, maybe they're not terrorists. Maybe I'm just not well-read enough, but that's fucking crazy. Oh. But everybody hates them. Like, everybody in the region, a lot of people don't like them. Uh, so everyone in the region hates them. All right. Like, I like lore drop time, Hezbollah is not part of the Lebanese government. Wait, did he just make that up? No! Hold on. We're gonna do some, uh, some Hezbollah research. Let's go. I don't know. They're using a lot of words here that I don't really understand. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's fucking crazy. I like what you like. I don't have issues. Lore drop, Hezbollah killed 300 plus Americans in 1983, Beirut. U.S. Israelis snapped the guy that the U.S. put a 7 million bounty on his head. Yeah, the United States put a 7 million dollar bounty on this Nasrallah guy's head. And that's the guy that he's 
cool with. Cool. Shoot with them, let's just say. Um, um, yeah. But they are a terrorist organization. Like, they're- Oh, 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 oh they, they are, they are a terrorist <laughs> I looking at Wikipedia for? We have this guy. Chief Glazer admits they're a terrorist organization. What? He just said he's cool with them. Designated. Oh, they're they are designated by the oh, American state okay. as a terrorist organization. Oh, okay. I do not like them. Then oh, this guy, at least he knows that. Oh, terrorist, bad. Okay. Well, I mean, we we also called Nelson Mandela a terrorist until two. His comparisons are like actually insane. Dude, he, uh, dude uh, they're just like Anne Frank guys. 2008. Do you know who that is? I think like one of the funniest parts of this clip is that when his friend rightfully is like, okay, well, I don't really like terrorists. Hassan's response to that is like, well, actually the USA considered Nelson Mandela a terrorist too. As if Nelson Mandela is comparable to Hezbollah, like having slaves, murdering people and things. NMP Lowell appeared. Yeah, no, that's fucking crazy. That he, uh, that he supported Nasrallah, this guy, this Hassan character like that guy was a monster thank god he's dead on a stream the next day and hassan would ask him if he wanted to listen to a houthi musical oh boy a houthi musical that oh sounds god. so enriching Wait, what? turns out no 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 houthi musicals he didn't do that but that houthis are terrorists let me remind you according to the united states houthi musical is actually just an actual terrorist propaganda video no. like there's no meme it's no. just what it actually is no. oh you want to see a houthi musical no 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 this is not real life sure these were the people that the Saudis were killing, by the way. Just Yeah, the Saudis were the ones genociding the Houthis, yeah. So, you know, these fucking musically gifted individuals. Yeah. I don't know, man. What's going on? Musically gifted individuals. I'm sorry, buddy. Mauser rifles? Is that because that's the rifles the Germans used? I'm so what is that? This is a music video? Uh, this ain't no music video I've ever seen. And Hassan just walks out of the room. He just leaves his bro to dry. What do you mean a music video? When you said music video, I'm expecting like bad example. Chris Brown dancing, you know? No, no, no. They do like, what is they this? do musicals. They're very musical people. This is terrorist propaganda. Like actual terrorist propaganda. Are, no, you, the, are the, you being serious? Dog, what do you, you think I made this? This isn't I, I, I know they're singing, but I'm seeing just guns and shit. This isn't a music video, Hassan. No, it is. They do musicals about like their fucking, like their, their, their actions all the time. It's a, it's an act of, uh, for them, it's an act of resistance. You know what I mean? Oh, for sure. Oh my God. Oh man. Oh, oh. They're, they're musical terrorists. So, I mean, that makes it much better. So took a big dude. I just one second. I need, I need to clean my palo with like actual music. All right, I'm sorry. I just need to I need to clean my palate with some actual music for a second. All right, just just one second. Smoke, cause in the ring, I'll bend you over, then give you my love. Made him scream, made him cream, then he slobbered on my knee. Logan wants to suck my D, wants me drippy like All right, I feel much better now. All right, now now that I'm, my palate has been cleansed, we can continue. Down sponsor and I drink Starbucks. I'm sorry. Don't hate me. Good job. And fun fact, during this video, you can see it says, my heart longs for Mauser rifles. And that's a reference to the common association of the Mauser rifle with the- The Holocaust! What a hilarious comparison! Nazis, when they used it during World War II. So basically, what I'm saying is like, the Houthis don't really, they don't really like Jewish people that much. True. But honestly, like, I gotta give, you know, Hassan a little bit of credit here. Oh, another thing that the Houthis and Twitch have in common, crazy. Putting on a literal terrorist propaganda video and leaving his friend while he goes to the bathroom is like, that's just, I don't know. He hung him out to dry. That's like, like another level of i'm not i'm not i'm not on that wave of content yet i haven't gotten there okay I'm, I'm trying you can even see when these guys start like you know opening up with their guns his face is like holy shit what is what is a brother playing for me right now and nmp lol would also later reflect on this during a stream and basically say like uh it was it was pretty it was pretty out of pocket it was All pretty right. crazy and everybody in the car just like and let me guess he's gonna say it was pretty out of pocket pretty crazy and then he's still gonna stay equally good friends with this guy who is obviously showing terrorist propaganda on the platform and and he's just gonna be like oh he's cool don't worry guys don't worry guys he's cool doesn't know what i don't know this nmp lol guy but for some reason everyone is so cool with hassan doing this shit what to say they seem kind of nervous to uh, maybe give hassan a little bit of backlash you know they're just like yeah man i don't know that's uh crazy you know that's crazy uh you know hassan is a crazy guy sometimes you know because hell even a couple days ago i was hanging out with my buddy hassan and this mm -hmm. guy unironically put a put a uh, terrorist propaganda music video on and then left the room left the room yeah. and i was just like <laughs> and the thing is like in hindsight it's hilarious you know, at the same time, I'm like, what is going on here? This is wild to me. Yeah. 
but like I just I just and like he was like yo they're such great dancers like, oh I'm, my god I was like okay you know but yeah we we just we just we just keep doing stuff so you say what you want to say you do what you gotta do it's really it's really not a problem and it's so ironic how much of a tough guy Hassan likes to I can't believe it bro oh Hassan silly silly uh, terrorist propagandist guy what a what a goober to act like he likes to act like he's like some kind of badass on a stream who's like you know unbothered by pretty much anything like you can't you can't fuck with him okay but then not even that long ago this random fan approached him asking about Sam Hyde wanting to box him and he he, he freaked out he freaked out he was like I won't box him he's a Nazi I'm <laughs> this is a, such a funny fucking clip I'll kill you <laughs> Angeles at your house or in the ring no it's real <laughs> such a fucking unhinged thing to say I'm going to kill you I think Sam Hyde he called you out on like a box yeah, are you interested in like the boxing scene or not? No, we yeah. around that game. I don't know why you guys are so into this shit. He's a Nazi. Like you f He's a Nazi. Yeah. King bloodthirsty violent pig dog. For the record, that is a Nazi word that was used as a slur against Jews. Fun. Yeah, there there it is. There, there it is. Holocaust survivor Judas Amit. Yeah, they used to call him a pig dog. The Nazis used to do that. That's crazy. I don't know. What are you doing? What? What's happening right now? It's so whack, bro. Like, I, I just, I don't understand why all you motherfuckers have to, like, run around with this shit. What's going on? What's going on? Nothing. Get the fuck out of my face, bro. You fucking asshole. Yeah, what do you mean, damn, bro? What, what the fuck do you mean, damn? What do you mean? What the fuck do you mean, damn? Why do you no, do I'm, this I'm shit? You're not asking. And yeah, if there's literally any question about any of this, Hassan has been doing this for over a year now, and everything he's done here is clearly against Twitch's TOS, according to the guidelines. This is crazy. How, how has he never been banned? Twitch Twitch is actively fucking, and they love him, right? Dan Clancy, the CEO of Twitch, talks about how Hassan's his favorite streamer. The Casey Tron used to try and get Asmund Gold banned. In fact, it's violating a ton of other rules as well, especially when it comes to terrorism. Twitch doesn't even allow interviews or terrorist videos to be shown on stream regardless of the context. You could- Bro, and he glazes it. He doesn't just show it, he supports it. Literally show that you have the book Mind Cuff in your hand, completely disavow it, not even read it, and still get banned on Twitch. Terrorism and violent extremism promote unlawful violence and spread messages of intolerance. Twitch does not allow content that depicts, glorifies, encourages, or supports terrorism or violent extremist actors or acts. And Hassan supports Hamas on his streams, as far as I understand. This isn't just a double standard, okay? This, this isn't just like a bad enforcement. Twitch is complicit. This includes threatening to or encouraging others to commit acts that would result in serious physical harm or significant property destruction. For example, you may not display or link terrorist or extremist propaganda, including graphic videos or footage of terrorist or extremist violence. Even He got away with a full fucking music video for the purposes of denouncing such content. If it wasn't already obvious in this video, the point I'm trying to make here is not like Israel is based or like I love uh, the Jews or something like that. Like it's not about- I love the Jews. About that. The point I'm making is that if he were any other streamer on Twitch, he would immediately get banned for enabling hate speech. And it wouldn't even have to be what he says himself. Take a glance at his chat. It's kind of crazy. Oh my God. Kill them all. Kill them. Kill them. Bro, dude, how do these people not get banned? Well, I mean, it would actually make sense if Twitch was, you know, if Twitch hated Jews. You see, if Twitch hates Jews, this all makes sense. Crazy. Like, Asmongold got banned for one clip. One clip, which was not a good clip. I don't like what he said. I don't think it's cool to generalize people that way. But he got banned for one single clip. Meanwhile, if we want to recap just a few moments from Hassan's streams over the past few months, he's endorsed multiple internationally recognized terrorist groups, denied that people who claim they were got and then went on to say, even if it did happen, it doesn't matter. And even before all of this, he said that it's okay if rich white women get uh, gorilla moded, <laughs> which is all insane. Meanwhile, Asmongold gets a 15 day ban for having a spicy take on the war. It's very, very clear to me that there is a bias from the upper management of Twitch and they don't actually care about what Hassan says. Interesting. A bias, you say. Well, if you want to know more about that, definitely check out danclancysucks.com. Uh, it's, it's a pretty wild website that just breaks down a lot of pretty crazy sussy shit. I actually did a video on that. Uh, it might be out before this one. So definitely uh, keep your eyes peeled for that if you're interested. Uh, th I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm doing this. This, Ladies and gentlemen, this is just me doing activism, okay? I'm just being an activist. Oh, God damn it. Being that I hate discrimination, I, have to, I felt like I had to talk about this you know like they literally will let him get away with anything it is literally like rules for thee and not for me Don can get away with whatever he wants and if you start looking into it a little bit it's not really hard to tell why there's this kind of like conspiracy going on at twitch they're basically open about it for example yeah what a crazy conspiracy guys there's a conspiracy that twitch hates jews now the evidence is not only the streamers that they platform and streamers that they ban but also the fact that they've literally geo-blocked israel from making twitch accounts for a year and they're 
excuse was, oops, I didn't realize. Dan Clancy, Twitch's CEO. And even if you hate Israel, you gotta realize that by geo-blocking Israel, they've also blocked Palestinians from making Twitch accounts. Like, this is crazy! Was openly hung out with Hassan in real life and endorsed him multiple times, saying that he loves his stuff. Not nice. a gamer himself, Clancy mostly watches musicians or talk shows on Twitch. He particularly enjoys leftist political commentator Hassan Piker, who has 2.5 million followers on the nice. platform. I like the frankness and bluntness, Clancy said. He's comfortable saying what he believes. Yeah. He's comfortable saying what he believes. This favoritism also extends to the world of journalism. There's a very, uh, very world-renowned, beloved Kotaku journalist named Alyssa Mercante. Yeah. And it's actually insane how much she's thirsted after Hassan openly, publicly... Hey, I don't know about this lore. ...begging for his attention. They're probably... Alyssa, Hi. <laughs> I heard you to run. No, yeah, we're, we have... Uh... Oh! Hello, what's all this? I've been inseminated by a pic of Ad ah. Hassan wearing his new union made merch. I've oh. been inseminated. <laughs> union made merch. This is fucking awful, bro. Bruh, no. Baby, if you're in New York, you're supposed to tell me. Oh, stop gooning. Men be Dude, What the fuck, bro? Dude, I react. I react to one fucking Jaden Animations video and I get canceled. But this is okay. Scared to dress, but at Hassan the Hun is up in my eyes. Dude, what the fuck is he wearing? Is this supposed to be a good fit? Bro looks like a fucking Teletubby. Like this. He looks fucking retarded. Thank what is you. he wearing? <laughs> yes. $13,000 for Trans Lifeline, and I haven't even gotten at Hassan the Hun to notice us yet. Oh my god. What, this is fucking. This is beyond glazing. What the fuck? LFG. Dude, stop. <laughs> Shut up! Zaddy is getting cupped now. Hell yeah. Zaddy? Do people say Zaddy? <laughs> Dude, I, I need to get off the internet. I hate my life. And at one point, she really wanted to get his attention for a story, which is why she started incessantly tweeting at him saying, Hassan, I'm trying to chat with you at TwitchCon for a Kotaku story. Let's do this. I've been emailing your manager, but no reply. Take me to a firing range in San Diego. <laughs> Take me to what a firing range in San Diego. I've never been to one. We can do the interview then. <laughs> stop. Stop. She's so desperate. Dude, she's so horny. She's so fucking horny. Why is she coming? She's coming. She's gooning. Stop. Alyssa was really desperately oh, trying wild. to interview for an article she was originally going to write about Hassan, but after he rejected her, she decided to switch the article subject into the very controversial twitch is transforming into a home for political commentary and caroline kwan is leading the charge regardless of her having oh my god dude it's it doesn't stop need to change the title obviously the remember when twitch was about gaming i don't even remember that era anymore levels of simping for hassan were really off the charts and frankly it's no wonder why kotaku has favorably covered him in the past it feels like at least on twitch hassan is basically untouchable everyone in the it does seem like that doesn't it it doesn't matter what he does, he gets away with it. It's actually kind of insane. The industry clearly has a bias towards him, they like him, and that's why he's gotten away with things that nobody else would have been able to. And the thing is, once he marks it as it's okay, Twitch will let other people do it too. Because, well, if it's good for Hassan, it has to be good for everyone. And he sets the standard there. It's crazy. All while dominating the Twitch political scene. However, it seems like there may be some semblance of hope here. Other people have started noticing the same hypocrisy from Twitch because of this Asmongold drama, and they've tried calling Twitch out for it. Even a majority of comments on Asmongold's video are saying he shouldn't have apologized or been banned because Hassan does the exact same thing, but worse. As a Muslim, I hate this ban. I completely disagree with his points last night, but to ban him and not ban people with the exact same opinions just about the other side will just radicalize and create more hate as long as he's not directly advocating for violence and just sharing his personal opinions, banning him will just increase hostility. And if he's wrong, he should be judged by the community, not silenced by Twitch. Hassan Damn. interviewed an actual crazy Houthi pirate and praised him. No ban. Hassan's also- Yeah, I, I, it's insane. Like, this isn't just a double standard. This isn't just a bias. I just think Twitch hates Jews. Like, I know that's maybe, maybe extreme, but that's crazy. I've also been trying to play the race card recently, saying that he's discriminated against. Is one- <laughs> Wait, wait, Hassan is discriminated against? What are you talking about? He's he's a multi-millionaire. One of those moments where FD signifiers like, remember, you're not white in the Fuck, people. Fuck, bro. You know, and it's a it's a somber reminder of that reality. There is a there is a levels to the whiteness, which is like, look. <laughs> yeah, that's why Diddy was arrested because he's black.
Yeah, for sure. That's why people don't like Hassan. 100%. True. He, he is the victim. He is the victim. Him and his multi-million dollar house in Hollywood. The true victim here. He basically is white. I'm sorry. He ba he looks white. You see Hassan. He's like slightly off, okay? Like if, if Hassan is fucking <laughs> oh not God, white, dude. I'm not white. And on the very, very small chance here that there's any fans of the Leftovers podcast, the uh, the greatest podcast of all time watching this right now, if you think there's going to be a reunion, if you're hoping on that, you can nah. basically uh, count. Nah, Ethan just fucking went balls deep cooking him that out now last time i talked about hassan i went into detail about his relationship with ethan klein of the h3 podcast and how it had been utterly demolished after their fallout on leftovers with the reason being that ethan wasn't 100 in favor of glassing israel to hell and back to which hassan's chat reacted by calling him a subhuman and trying to dig up Ela's past in the idf and say that she like is a murderer and stuff like that right and hassan's response to this was basically like well i can't do anything about the chat being mean to you guys you know what the fuck is he the what am I going to say? Listen, everyone in my periphery, everyone in my circle, all the leftist people that I watch, that I'm part of, that watch this show, because I consider myself a part of that side, are all pretty much uncritically accepting of Hamas propaganda and uncaring about the rewriting of history right before our f***ing eyes about this stuff. So... I'm not seeing a lot of people, even though you might look at the popular media and say, you know, everybody's supporting Israel. The popular media's defense of Israel is cartoonishly dumb and evil. You know, burn them all to the ground. They have a right to defend themselves. Bomb God, like psycho sh okay? But on the left, I don't see anyone saying what I'm saying right now. I just see the opposite. And so, that- mm, It's crazy. Ethan has uh, just experienced anti-Semitism. Interesting. That's wild. Uh, turns out, Jordan Peterson was right. Uh, he, Jordan Peterson has some crazy takes, but what he said about H3 was completely correct. H3, H3, you might seriously consider providing me with the footage so I can post it, given that I agreed to appear on your show based on the agreement that there would be a show. Also, I should warn you that those who engage in cancel culture generally live to regret it. I'm not going to come after you except politely in this Twitter stream, but the chickens will definitely come home to roost. And uh, basically all of Ethan's friends turned on him. That's crazy. That's why I feel that I need to say it. I don't, if you're going to extrapolate from this that I don't care about Palestinians dying, then you're definitely reading way too far into this and you're also in my opinion really callous which of course is extremely ironic given the fact that he had a mental breakdown at ludwig for uh memeing him in one video and it got so bad that ludwig had to remove the video so that hassan wouldn't be mad at him forever over it but back to the topic at hand you know said crazy anyway so uh yikes yeah this is uh it's definitely ugly it's definitely ugly a lot of people don't like jews it turns out um twitch included so th that's crazy <laughs> That's wild because in the history of the world, no, no one's ever hated Jews. That, that was that was sarcasm, guys. That was sarcasm. Since uh, since everything I talked about on this channel with leftovers, things have really only gotten worse. According to Ethan, Hassan's community has been vehemently harassing him nonstop for months, and so Ethan started taking pot shots at him on his Instagram story. I know you guys don't like me talking about Hassan, and while I appreciate that there's a lot of crossover, and I'm grateful to those of you that are able to watch us both, it's impossible for me to ignore that the majority of these people are coming from his community. It's something he and his audience refuse to reckon with. Hassan's whitewashing of that Houthi kid who said he wants to spear all Zionists to death was frankly disgusting. I don't care that he's seen an episode of One Piece. I'd like to know why he's hanging out with a boat captain of a Chinese cargo vessel, also known as a hostage. And as more info has come out about this kid being terrorist affiliated and being anti-Semitic, Hassan has refused to disavow him. The opposite, actually. He continues to prop him up. Ethan's subreddit would start ban- Damn, bro, the Ethan Hassan meltdown is crazy. They went from being on a podcast together to being arch nemeses. Holy shit. No one could have seen this coming. Yes, except for Jordan Peterson and me, who actually called this out like a year ago that that would end in fire. Gather disavowing for the most part, the toxic parts of the community, also known as the, the Hassan parts, basically. Thank you guys for your support this morning. It genuinely feels sometimes that I'm totally alone, constantly being gaslit by my own fans, that I shouldn't care about rising anti-Semitism. It's not real or doesn't matter. Real. How anti zionists are so quick to explain how Zionism isn't Judaism, but when I complain about anti-Semitism, they say, but what about Israel? Kind of gives the game away. Most recently, Ethan went on his live stream and personally called out Hassan for the way he had been acting Damn. since Leftovers was disbanded. Ethan had apparently tried to personally reach out to Hassan with some constructive criticisms, but Hassan just never responded. Why don't you talk to Hassan about this privately? I did text him a couple weeks ago after I saw the clip of him saying that he had no problem with Hezbollah. I texted him that Crazy. I thought it was pretty uh, disappointing and disturbing. The Dude, it's not disappointing and disturbing! 
Like, if someone will say they have no problem with insert terrorist organization here, then there's not someone that you should even try to befriend. Come on, brother. Way that he was, he was hyping up Hezbollah. And granted, when I texted him that, I said, you know, you don't have to respond to me. I totally understand because it's unsolicited, you know, criticism. I get it. But I was kind of hoping to open the door to a more personal conversation. He did not reply. Which I took as basically just like we're we're on the opposite sides of this issue and talking isn't can really help, which I get and I and I agree that's probably where we're at, unfortunately. But I did try, and again, not to blame him because I said you don't have to respond. Just so you know, I just wanted to. I felt I needed to tell you this. So like, and keep in mind here, if you say even one remotely negative thing about Hassan Piker, he will hold that grudge over you for the rest of your fucking life. Ethan then showed a clip reel of Hassan endorsing the previously mentioned terrorists, and he really cut deep into how disappointed he was with who he thought was a friend. You know what I I'm more interested in than damn. There are no friends. There are only people that haven't backstabbed you yet. Welcome to the internet, ladies and gentlemen. Sewing out that he's seen an episode of One Piece. The fact that he admitted to being, spending time with fucking Chinese vessel hostages that were kidnapped. <laughs> Terror he's a terrorist. He's a terrorist. He's a terrorist. And this guy supports terrorists. You see, I, I love nuance. I love uh, that to recognize that not everything is black and white. I like to sit here and acknowledge the shades of gray as I fling my chaos poop ar around the room, okay? There are some things that are black and white. And openly advocating for terrorist groups? Yeah, that's bad, objectively. The end. Like, stop. Like, at some point, you just gotta stop reasoning with these people. By the Houthis. That would warrant a good follow-up question. But it's unabashed pro-terrorist propaganda that he's chosen. And that is what we're witnessing. This whole interview is uh, frankly disgusting, in my opinion. It's shameful. Mm -hmm. Twitch should be ashamed. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know how he continues to show terrorist propaganda. It is quite alarming, and uh, I, I genuinely don't understand it. It's got to be noted here that Ethan is definitely responsible for inviting some of this insanity into his life. Uh, yeah! Jordan Peterson was right about this, dude. Oh my god. How did he not know what he was lying in bed with? Hassan Piker and his community have been psychotic for years. Like, this has been so obvious for- Oh, it's worse, though. Like, I've seen old Hassan shit. This is so much worse. Ever. Before this whole Israel-Palestine fiasco really blew up, if you did a modicum of research on Hassan, you can see a lot of crazy shit that he said. For example, him saying that landlords should die, specifically saying, let the streets soak in their red capitalist blood. God, he's such a fucking insane person. <laughs> oh my god. He also said America deserves 9-11. Okay, like, he's done some crazy shit. It's hurt poor people that they can... They, they can afford housing in Berkeley? I don't know how- Well, my understanding is that the property owners who have properties there choose just not to rent it at all. Yeah, kill them! Kill those motherfuckers in a video game, sorry. <laughs> Holy shit! Murder those motherfuckers in the street! Let the streets- Let the streets soak in their fucking red capitalist bloods, dude. Oh my god, in a video game, of course. Holy shit! That's crazy. That's like an actual call to violence. Isn't that like uh, violating every guideline ever? I feel like that's violating like billions of guidelines. <laughs> what do you even say about this shit, man? Like, what do you even do? Oh, you said in Minecraft. Don't worry. It's all better now. Holy fucking shit, dude. Sorry. I, mean, I meant in a video a game. Like, this is a crazy. I meant in a video game, guys. Dude, I saw this great tweet. Dude, check this out. This one. This is good. This is it. This is where we're at. The Uthi flag was updated to address confusion, all right? Death to America, death to Israel, curse upon the Jews, and Minecraft. So, uh, the Houthis are beating the allegations today, ladies and gentlemen. So, you know. ...person. Is that not obvious? Like, this is, this is not a sane person. This is a mentally ill person who needs help. Like, Ethan definitely saw that. He knew what he was getting into, and he didn't seem to care at the time because he himself was also on a bit of a leftist or communist or Karl Marx. Yeah, it's crazy. It's almost like, uh, the recent anti-Semitism, like in the world really woke Ethan up to the fact that he's in bed with a snake. Like it really kind of feels that way. Like I've spoken to a lot of Jews over my time, all right? And over the last year, I feel like even completely, you know, unaffiliated secular Jews that don't really have anything to do with Judaism, like over the last year, they'll, they'll be like, what the fuck? People like hate us. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. And it's crazy to see Twitch. It's crazy to see Twitch doing this, like mask off.
Marks, woo. And while it's nice that he's finally condemning Hassan now, considering that Hassan is a crazy person, I, I just don't think this should have been a surprise to him. Oh no, if it isn't the consequences of my actions. And it's funny because Hassan's MO has essentially been, if it's anti-American, then we like it regardless of whatever it is, while simultaneously enjoying the luxury of the developments of the Western world. If he went to Saudi Arabia and got on stream trying to be <laughs> le epic based anti-establishment guy talking about their government, we'd probably see him in a live leak video in a couple hours. And that goes for all of his uh, non-binary LGBTQ fans as well. They would not be loved and paraded around. Dude, he just had a clip on a stream that I saw go viral talking about how uh, he said that Iran is more pro-trans than America. Like, I saw him say that. Like, that's how fucking brain rotted he is. If any of these people stepped foot in the presence of some of the terrorists they're praising, they would be instantly vaporized, okay? Those MFs do not play about gay people. <laughs> they don't like them. They're like, uh, they're like, ooh, they're like, ooh, you're gay? Ooh, you're, you're gay? Wait, you're freaking gay, dude? You know, joke, joke, they, they go jokler mode on the gay people. At the end of the day, the fact that someone like Hassan, who openly sympathizes with, like, just literal violence on civilians, and violates multiple Twitch rules every single day, the fact that that guy can go on stream without being banned, shows that Twitch won't actually take action against him unless there's significant public backlash and it's not gonna i found the clip i knew i wasn't making that shit up bro i knew i was not making that shit up there are plenty of gay and trans people by the way iran is actually weirdly very pro-trans but it, i'm sure that uh, you probably didn't know that do you know why they're pro-trans because if they see anyone gay they force them to transition or they execute them that's why they're pro-trans in iran they're very homophobic I but they didn't. are they are, yeah. uh, they are very- And then you have Asmongold, who doesn't know anything about the topic. Asmongold would be like, yo, I didn't know that. Like, <laughs> they force gay people to transition, or they kill them. That's not pro-trans. Pro -trans. Weird. A lot of a lot of cultures yeah. are actually very pro-trans. Mm. <laughs> way more than the United States of America. Well, oh, way more! Oh, the US? Oh, bro, please. Yeah, all right. Yeah, okay. All right, Hassan be backlash for people like me like my opinion to twitch does not fucking matter the opinion of youtubers and streamers does not fucking matter that's right it doesn't but you know what matters all of you guys that are watching this right now you matter matter what matters to them is pushback from journalists from like outlets like kotaku or polygon but polygon is literally on his side kotaku in particular loves hassan because one of their writers is trying to suck his dick every day literally like literally literally she's gooning i want to be really clear here what asmongold got banned for like i understand why he was banned like the issue for me is not that he got banned in the first place like if you're running a public platform trying to make business and have advertisers it makes sense you'd be like asmongold you're getting two weeks off buddy asmongold went full chud you never go full chud the issue for me is that Twitch is totally inconsistent on this. I don't actually want Hassan or Asmongold to be banned. I think they should be able to say what they want, frankly. Like, I like the chaos of it all. But if Twitch wants yes! to play a certain group of... Chaos! That's what it's all about. Listen, either you don't ban anybody and you let all this fucking shit fester, or you ban everybody, but not where we're at right now roles then let's play ball they should have banned hassan multiple times at this point it's become very clear to me that to become popular on twitch you need to align with the political views of those in charge if you don't share twitch's political stance 100 percent you'll either never reach the same level of success as someone like hassan or you'll end up being banned before you could even have the opportunity to get there twitch's entire political scene at this point is dominated by hassan and his insane orbiters with no oh. popular creators offering any opposing views and of course not because why should they because these guys fucking are uh that is twitch that is twitch but uh, in case you were curious, because I thought I thought you would I thought you would be interested, forced surgery for homosexual people. This is in Iran. Media coverage speculated that homosexual individuals are pressured to undergo medical reassignment as part of the Iranian state's oppression of homosexuality. All right. So uh, this includes forced surgery for some gay people, because otherwise they will execute them. Yeah, this is the uh, incredibly pro-trans nation of Iran, ladies and gentlemen. Despite that, Hassan manages to attract massive live audiences, and the fact he can control Twitch's political discourse is uh, not really hopeful for the state of the internet, to say the least. You know, I think if you're going to have a public platform where you allow people to be political, you got to at least allow the other side to speak their mind a little bit. Hopefully, there will come a time when Hassan's ego gets the better of him and he crosses a line that even Twitch can't ignore, but it seems like the platform's tolerance for him is incredibly high. Like, if I was on YouTube saying the shit that he was saying i would have already been banned a long time ago yeah it's it's it, honestly it's kind of wild that hassan wasn't banned on youtube either because hassan has a youtube channel on which he glazes a terrorist how the fuck is he even on youtube like i understand his craziest takes are not on youtube they're on twitch but on youtube he has the video of himself glazing a terrorist for half an hour saying he supports what he does 
what? Like, I don't understand. The thing is, I thought Hassan was like a leftist streamer, okay? Like, you know, he's a leftist streamer and you got your right-wing streamers, you got your left-wing streamers. I didn't realize he was an actual terrorist propagandist based on what I'm seeing. For now, unfortunately, he remains an untouchable figure, able to spread whatever insane propaganda he wants, and uh, arguably, worst of all, just be really cringe. Like, Chinese why do you cringe. why do you dress like that, bro? Honestly, like, there's no reason to wear Appreciate that. You I, I did not need to get eye raped by this fucking outfit. Dress like you're playing dress to impress in Roblox or something. Like, you're not a real you're not a real person. Like, I think that's the real takeaway here. Just change the way you dress, please. If anything, just don't wear that. Anyway, that's about it. Uh, bye. Damn, what a crazy rabbit hole. I knew it was bad. I didn't know it was this insane. I knew it was bad. I didn't know it was this bad. Dude, Twitch, you guys are fucking cooked. And you guys are gonna live to regret this shit, all right? Things will change, all right? I, I do think that over the next year, Dan Clancy will not be the CEO of Twitch anymore, and something will change. At some point, the advertisers are gonna find out about it. Uh, Amazon is gonna know about it, and uh, this is gonna fucking blow up. Now you can mark my words. Within a year, we will have a very different Twitch. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's been this situation. I can't believe that I uh, was relatively ignorant to the amount of shit Hassan has pulled on the platform. And uh, I can't believe that uh, every streamer is just super cool with him about all this. Like they just make believe it doesn't exist. Like I like Ludwig, okay? I know that everyone in the commentary sphere on YouTube doesn't like Ludwig. I like Ludwig. I cannot begin to understand why Ludwig is friends with Hassan and openly collabs with him and chills with him. Like, I, I will never get it. It can't just be clout, right? Like, I, I, I don't know. I don't understand. Does Connor collab with Hassan? I don't know. Does he? Because if Connor knew about this, there's no way he would collab with Hassan. There is no way if he knew about this shit. There's no way Connor would collab with him. Connor has fucking balls and he would not do that. I don't know, man. This is crazy. Maybe I'm, uh, maybe I'm only seeing the bad side of Asana, not the good side. But, uh, but I can't believe this shit. I cannot believe this shit. And he gets away with it on, like, a daily basis here. But anyway, DanClancySucks.com. Stay weird, fam. Like, subscribe, and this video was streamed live on kick.com slash See you there. Stay weird, fam.